do a three three. Because I don't currently have a job. Thank you, Leslie. I hope I can follow that. <laughs> Awards! I am your host, Bradley Cooper, in an even more beguiling Jewish mode. You know who should have played Bernstein? Me. Right here. No percentage. It's so great to be back with you. This is my fifth time hosting. Uh, my agent said that I should hold out for more money, but in the spirit of the DGA, I accepted their first offer. <laughs> by you and your peers, and I swear to God, if this is the only time you vote this year, you can all go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know, we need as an industry to encourage people to vote. We have a presidential election coming up between a guy old enough to have met Hitler and a guy who just wishes he had. <laughs> Dedicating our show to the legendary Norman Lear. <laughs> a humanitarian and television pioneer who passed away at the age of 101, and I swear to all of you tonight, I will not rest until I find his killer. <laughs> I'd like to thank Joe Coy for lowering the bar for me. <laughs> Thank the director of Guild for the courage to hire a white Jewish man to host this ceremony. <laughs> I'm back, and together we can make Hollywood great again. <laughs> I'd also like to thank our special musical guest tonight, Kanye West, <laughs> who will be performing with his wife, who will be wearing nothing but a well placed sham wow. <laughs> what a year it was, right? Two labor strikes shut down the whole industry, and many of us had to make painful sacrifices to ride this out. I had to sell my mansion and settle for a slightly larger mansion in a worse neighborhood. And everyone thought there wasn't going to be enough new great movies and TV to even have a good award season. But look what happened. Poor things, Barbie, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, American Fiction, Hold On, Citizen Five Years, On and On and On. Like an amazing year. And you know what I did during the strikes? I went to Wendy's and tried the Southwest chicken sandwich. <laughs> That's all I did. I went to Vegas, I saw Adele. I'll tell you what I wasn't doing, making a masterpiece. Because when I'm striking, I'm striking. I'm shutting it down. I was literally bitching Hagen Haas and Ozempic daily. <laughs> I was experimenting with exactly how much Hagen Haas I could eat while also on Ozempic. <laughs> could I maintain my weight, not gain, not lose, keep it the same? That's what I was doing. I didn't gain or lose one pound, and it only cost me $40,000 for Ozempic. <laughs> So ultimately, what did we learn from the strike? Well, two things. We learned that Fran Drescher is the voice of reason, and unfortunately, that's what reason sounds like. <laughs> but number two, audiences love watching old shows that have been on a lot of seasons. They don't care at all if they're new. They want a warm, familiar blanket. Suits was the most watched show of all of last year. And Hollywood noticed this trend. So here's what's coming out next year. In April, Max is presenting a hot show they're very excited about, Remington Steel. Like we have done, Netflix bought all eight seasons of Barnaby Jones. Paramount Plus will be unveiling their newest star, the late Ed Asner. Oh my God. 
This is how studios work. You know this is how they work. They tend to just copy last year's success. Greta Gerwig, brilliant filmmaker. $1.4 billion. So the studio, what did they do? They said, let's do it again. That's why next summer we're going to see Rock and Sock and Robots, directed by Lars von Trier. <laughs> then we're going to get the Easy Bake Oven, directed by Werner Herzog. <laughs> Teddy Ruxpin, a Spike Lee joint. <laughs> and my favorite, David Cronenberg's Pez Dispenser. <laughs> I know a few of you are feeling snubbed by the Oscars, okay? And I know how you feel. Because I have only been snubbed every time I've made a fucking movie for the last 20 years. Before you go first, snubbed, knocked up, snubbed, train wreck, snubbed. It hurts, but I dealt with it. And you know, I've never even been mentioned in an article about the people who got snubbed. That's a double snub! <laughs> Next time I'm going to hire a publicist just to get me mentioned in articles about who got screwed, a snublicist. <laughs> the great Martin Scorsese is here. Okay. He just landed his 13th Guild nomination. Incredible. Lifetime Achievement Award 21 years ago. <laughs> Since then, he's directed 16 movies, including The Irishman, Wolf of Wall Street, The Departed. This is his post Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> Academy screenings all over town. 
and they invite the entire membership of the academy. And a lot of these people are now older. Some are really old, and they love the free screenings. <laughs> have you guys gone to the screenings? I have, and they're weird. <laughs> There's an intermission every 15 minutes so that everyone can go to the back. <laughs> It makes the Skilly Gang crowd look like a Doja Cat crowd. <laughs> I went to the screening of Oppenheimer and I heard someone yell out, Robert wasn't like that. <laughs> In the middle of Ferrari, someone yelled, slow down! <laughs> In the middle of a three hour screening of Pillars of the Flower Moon, there was an in memoriam for the audience members who died during the movie. <laughs> Warner Paramount Discovery. Then Elon Musk, using his own money, executes a leverage buyout of both of those companies, and in order to streamline the operation, Musk fires everyone except for 37 people. <laughs> then Jeff Bezos jumps in and buys the whole thing as a Valentine's gift to his girlfriend, Lauren Sanchez. <laughs> Lauren quickly gets bored of running and flips it, selling it to Salma Hayek and CNN. <laughs> Salma ushers It's like the 1970s again. But all that ends suddenly when Byron Allen sweeps in and buys the whole thing. Good cash. Because Byron Allen has so much cash. Skip Stevens and died penniless. Well, I'll tell you how. He's a brilliant businessman and he puts the whole thing and sells it to Pornhub. <laughs> Pornhub, with their partner Activision, makes it their mission to combine AI, video games, classic movies, and pornography. So now you can play a video game of Marilyn Monroe fucking Timothy Chalamet while shooting hunters and fighting dragons and executing drug dealers. <laughs> Pornhub puts a dick on everyone. <laughs> Men, women, everyone gets a digital gift. <laughs> Pornhub instantly re-edits every motion picture ever made. Now we have the Mary Sally with graphic penetration. <laughs> it's a wonderful life, but instead of George Bailey drowning, he hangs himself while masturbating. <laughs> it's AI autoerotic asphyxiation. It costs one dollar a month, and on the first day, three billion people sign up. The industry is saved. <laughs>